tell me that you're rich without telling me that you're rich. And these are just the spare ones that I actually have. Hey guys, one of these Raspberry Pi boards that isn't in a drawer is actually in this small wheel robot from Sunfolder. And this is Pcar X. And I'm fortunate because there are lots of Raspberry Pi based robotic kits out there. The problem is getting Raspberry Pis at a reasonable price. But if you have a spare board, or you live nearby Cambridge and you could treat yourself to a freshly baked Raspberry Pi from store, then you could also treat yourself to this robotic kit that comes with vision and a couple of other cool things. As there is not much we can do about the shortages, well, we could probably spend some time and research what is the best kit that we can get for Raspberry Pi 4s. And one of the big favorites of mine are actually wheeled kits that has a steerable axis. You can get a lot of robots like these that don't have a steerable axis and they rely on actually individual drives to the wheels to orient the robot in a correct direction. This is imperfect, especially if you're working on a rugged terrain because you're going to lose the grip really quickly and uh, it's just, there is a reason why we build the cars the way we build the cars, right? When it comes to robotic kits, the fun starts actually when you open the box because you get to assemble it and this kit arrived in parts. Now it's fully assembled and it took me about two hours to do it. I did have to follow instructions because it is a little bit complex so it's probably not designed for small kits but with the right guidance you'll be able to put it together quite easily. My only constructive criticism to actually assemble process is about the cable wiring, which could be slightly better explained, but if you spend extra moments to actually take a look at the pictures and figure out what's what, you'll have no problems of actually connecting all the servos correctly and then calibrating them and because it's required before you get started with this P car. P? Raspberry Pi? Pi car X. Fortunately, the Pi car X survived my mistakes and it's in a working condition on the table. You see it's fully powered on. So I think it's time to actually uh, talk about what's uh, on this robot and how you can take advantage of it. So the robot itself comes without the batteries, without the battery charger and without Raspberry Pi 4. Now the last part is obviously upsetting because it will depend whether you have one or not right now or whether you're willing to pay outrageous prices. But if you got the kit itself, then it will grace you with several sensors, uh, additional hot motor hardboard, and a camera, which you can take advantage of. So the kit itself has two motors to drive the real axis, and that's going to be obviously the, uh, something that powers on the driving bit. In front, you'll find the typical uh, ultrasonic sensor to detect obstacles and underneath it there is an additional module that will um, detect a three uh, channel grayscale um, values which can act in several ways from following the line to detecting an edge. Just above the sensor array we also have a camera which is mounted on two servo swivel so you'll be able to look around and look up and down. Now this camera is a, a Raspberry Pi oriented camera, it uses the ribbon to connect to the Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, some project, vision projects uh, examples are included in the kit so you can actually start playing with AI vision and program this robot based on what the robotic kit is seeing which is super exciting. To drive everything we also have a, a Raspberry Pi hat that goes on top of it and this is a motorboard controllers. Now we're only using about 30-40% uh, to 40% of available inputs and outputs so you'll be able to expand this kit even further which is super exciting. But as it is right now it has enough to actually have you entertained. Now this kit um, connects to the Wi-Fi 2.4 uh, gigahertz internet, it has a Bluetooth on it and it has speakers as well as some ICs that you can take advantage of. Front, right. Front, right. Now that you well virtually have everything assembled there is one thing to do, we have to set up Raspberry Pi and uh, Sun Founders has a designated page with documentation that will walk you through everything from installing Raspberry Pi OS and uh, do select a version with a desktop environment because it's needed for the camera to operate properly to playing with examples provided for both EasyBlock and Python. 
Now the setup instructions, uh, they take around 30 minutes to fully set up your Raspberry Pi and start playing with the device and you can take advantage of really three interfaces. So I already mentioned the easy block which is visual programming and something that you can get started even now without coding experience but if you prefer coding in a hard level then you have pure Python available and you can take control over your robot using Python. Now the third mode is actually using an app. SoundFounder is providing you a really cool app that uh, overlays the controls on top of the camera feed. On top of that it allows you to select different functions of the robot and toggle sensors, enable AI vision and object recognition or face recognition even. So that way you can have an instant preview of what is robot capable of and uh, what you can do with it without actually writing a single line of code. It's very nice and very entertaining, especially if you're just getting started and you would like to get a feel for what it's like to have a robot like this working for you. My advice is to start with EasyBlog because it's the simplest way to interact with everything that uh, PyCar X has to offer. It's available as a downloadable software or you can play with it via browser. So you don't even have to download it on your computer. Just go to the designated address in a specified in the documentation and get started. I already played with similar uh, visual IDs in the past, but one of the disadvantages of the easy block is that you can't really, in an easy way, jump from the script you've created visually to underlying a Python script to edit it out. Now, the provided examples can be opened to using EasyBlock as visual block or as code, and you could edit them that way, but there is no easy jump and forth that you can do uh, from the uh, new script that you're designing yourself. This is the only disappointing part, but it's not deal-breaking because, well, if you want to program in Python, you can switch to hard mode and start programming with Python. To get started with Python, you're going to need your ID of your choice and it will depend on you. You could use Tony for Python, you could use something more advanced, or you can even use Nano if you know what you're doing and know how to get around your ways with Python. But to ease the transition from EasyBlock to Python, uh, some founders actually provide you with a library of examples that will cover various topics and those will include obstacle detection and avoidance, a text to speech tasks so you could take advantage of built-in speaker, edge detection and line following, and computer vision, AI, face recognition and ob well, object recognition which is always quite exciting. I've tried a couple of samples myself, but I quickly discovered those are examples how to use certain features only, not a ready scripts to kind of load it on your car and drive about. I mean, the functionality is there, but you'll have to do a lot of tuning to actually get the robot to behave the way you want. It's not a bad thing because it actually challenges you and requires you to work on something to perfect it and to make it your own. And that is always encouraging. So far so good, but I have some constructive criticism. Now, obviously first one was uh, if you don't install the correct version of Raspberry Pi OS, uh, then you might get yourself in trouble by having certain features not working, so make sure you check that documentation. However, the actual installation of additional libraries should be improved a little bit. For example, I had problems installing the driver for the speaker. I had to run it a couple of times to actually make it work. And even then, sometimes I have to rerun it again to make sure my speakers are working on this thing. It's disappointing, but like I said, nothing that the rest of this script wouldn't fix, so it's okay. Another thing that I personally take the issue isn't the problem with the kit itself, it's just with the servos being in charge of the turret on the camera. It's very jittery, but that's the nature of servos and unless you're going to write the driver yourself that will, will make it more smoother, you'll end up with kind of like very familiar and jittery response from a servo which is overly sensitive to every micro movement of, for example, your uh, controllers on Android device. It's not much we can do about that part. And I believe that's all I've got in terms of disadvantages. Now, if you want to get started with uh, this robot, the Pi Car X or other robots that SunFounder has on the website, just uh, check it out in the description. We're gonna find a link to this and to other robots too. So next, you probably want to know how much do you have to spend to get a kit like this. Well, it's priced on Amazon at 109 dollars which actually isn't that bad considering how much kit you are getting for your money 
So if you are looking to take on another challenge and do something exciting, uh, then working with the vision project is actually quite interesting because it's not just squares and shapes on the camera anymore. You can actually respond to them and make object move, in this case, Pi Car X. And there's nothing more satisfying than uh, looking at your script, doing something meaningful and, well, driving robot around based on the environment, it's always a meaningful thing to do, regardless of whatever they gonna tell you. So big thanks to Sam Founder for sending me the kit so I could talk about it and if you're interested, check out the description for more details. As for now, it's probably not the last kit from Sam Founder I'm going to cover, so if you're interested in more, you know how YouTube works, I'm not going to explain all of that. Just bear in mind I do not have a posting schedule, so it's best to use YouTube features to, well, follow my work. There's a couple of uh, social media accounts as well, you know how that works. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'm definitely going to see you in the next video, right? Let's go for a drive.